I just made a little bit of a mess, so I want to try cleaning it up with this vacuum stick. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just got this because you can't have enough vacuums around. Gotta keep the place tidy. But I actually just made a little bit of a mess. I actually dropped a lot of wood shavings as I was bringing in some firewood for this winter. And I thought, well, I'm gonna clean it up with this B20 vacuum stick cleaner. I've been actually excited to check this out because on one hand, I know that vacuum cleaners can be very expensive and I don't wanna buy these premium brands that cost an arm and a leg, but I thought, well, maybe there's an alternative which will give me the same functionality, maybe even the same cleaning power and be a heck of a lot cheaper. This vacuum stick looks very reminiscent of some of the other vacuum cleaners that you may have seen. What we have here is kind of the business end of it. Pistol grip right here, a little 1911 trigger. Oh my gosh. Okay, it goes on as soon as you pull it. Yeah, look at that. And if I pull it again, it looks like it goes off. There's also a little LED right there, I think to show you a battery charge. There are a couple of gray buttons right on the back here. So if I squeeze those, looks like the battery just slides out just like that. And then it looks like we have some mode buttons up here. And then we have kind of this cyclonic cylinder right up at the top. Looks like it's pretty easy to clean out. You have a button right there, which if I pop that out, then you can just dump stuff out. And then this is the sucking end of it. It's got a really nice look. Even though the plastic is nice and light, it's got a premium look to it. This top piece here looks like it twists off so that I can get to, looks like filters. A lot more filters than I'm used to in a hand vac. And then, and then there's a button right here so that I can release this whole unit from the handle. I actually put this back on. There's a little tab you want to slide it on there and then it clicks back into place. Okay, the other box right here, the power cable, single prong right there. Looks like we have a adapter plate. I think that's for hanging on the wall with some screws and anchors. And then we also have a couple of clips that should also hold things on the wall. Then in the other larger box right here, we have some different adapters. Looks like we have a kind of carpet pickup right there. So that'll go on the end. We also have a floor cleaning adapter right here with some wheels. It's actually rubber on these wheels. And then you can see here, it has a flexible tube in there and clear plastic on the top so you can actually see it working, which is kind of cool. Looks like we have a replacement filter in there. We also have a brush pickup. Looks like this slides up and down so that you can use it to agitate or just to get into crevices. This is great for getting in between couch cushions, you know, smaller areas. And then we also have the little needle-like adapter so you can get in the really tight spaces down between car seats and the console, those types of things. So they all just kind of clip on like that. And then in this long box, we get the extendo portion of the vacuum cleaner. So, wow, really a beautiful red tube. This is like a red anodized aluminum, looks great. And then we have a release button up here and the plug as well as the power extension up here. So. What we can do here is I can take this, like this, close that up, and then I can pick any of these extensions that I want and just snap it on, just like this. And what I like is that it does conduct power all the way down here. So there is presumably a little motor in here that will spin these bristles. And I like the fact that this kind of angles. So no matter what angle your vacuum cleaner is, you'll get a nice, tight seal on the floor. I have a handheld vacuum cleaner that I can vacuum standing up and feel the exhaust coming out of the top. And then this little button right here toggles between low, medium, and high. And the exhaust comes out the top right here. And then to stop it, I just pull the trigger one more time. So, pretty cool. Let's see if it picks up some dirt. So I'm about to do a little cleaning and I want to show you that the first thing that I love about this is that it just allows me to have a natural stand up stance here and vacuum on the floor. And so one of the things that I just really like is that it's really convenient. The small handheld little, you know, vacuum cleaners, you have to reach down usually to get in some awkward spaces or the extension is really long, but all the sucking is done up here. So you lose a lot of suction down there. And I love the fact that these have moving 
working bristles down here on the end. Okay, so here's the big problem. I was bringing in some firewood to stock up over there and my firewood carrier just dropped a lot of wood because I was kind of fumbling around. So I've got like wood shavings all over the place. And then of course, right up here by my stove, it always gets dirty where I'm putting in wood and ash falls out of the stove and all of that. So what I wanna do here is just see if I can vacuum some of this up and see how well it'll work. Let's go at it. Well, it's picking up stuff, big and small, without any problems. Let's try it on this really uneven stone here too. Yeah, it's picking up just about everything. Look, I've got a big piece chunk of wood right there. I'm just curious if it'll grab that too. Looks like it's gone. It's a miracle. And it's kind of pulling in stuff that it's not even on top of as it as it gets close to it that suction seems to be pulling it in pretty awesome that makes easy and quick work of it Ooh, we're over here All right, so let's push through and clean everything up here and empty this sucker out too and then over here i've got a lot of wood shavings that I dropped. And when it's on, you can see the cyclonic action happening. Okay, now that we've tried this little head, I wanna try the bigger one and try this on a little carpet. I am holding my camera here, so I wanna see if I can do this one-handed. Yes, like a magician. So if I hit this button, it takes a little wiggling because of that electrical connector. And then we try to put this one on. Boom, just like that. Now we're ready to try this on carpet. All right, so I have some carpet. I also have a little wood dust down there on the hardwood. Thought I'd try this out. This is on that medium setting. Oh man, this, this is cool. If I just give it a little twist, what ends up happening is that the, the brushes turn a little bit. And you can see here, look at that stuff, gone. And what's really cool about this is it has some LED lights and you can see those little brushes spinning. So it's pretty cool because now I can just twist and direct the vacuum cleaner really wherever I want to go with just a twist of my wrist, just like that. Cool, man. So I wanted to show you this vacuum working on this deep pile carpet here, and I think it's pretty clean, but as I'm vacuuming it, I can hear things getting caught in here. So it's kind of impressive. Let me show you. You hear that? amazing how much stuff gets into these deep pile carpets and you never even see it because of the pile. And so running over it with this little handheld back, man, it's a lot of stuff I had no idea was in there. And like I said, I can hear it picking up, clunking around in there. So that's awesome. And the other thing I love here is if you don't need the long stick extension, you just need that hand back you can take any of these attachments and plug them directly into the handheld unit right here. So now you have the small handheld vac. So you have both the long stick vac as well as a convenient handheld vac. I've put this slim attachment on now and that allows me to get right in here between the couch cushions. Oh man, it's picking up stuff. That's embarrassing. Guess I should have done this sooner. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mount this thing on the wall. Here's the mounting plate. And basically what you can do here is these two accessory clips will slide into these slots on the side. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the right one. And so this one will press on just like this. And this one should press on to this side, just like this. Now you have 
spot for the vacuum cleaner to hang as well as the two accessories. And what I wanna show you here is on the back of the handle, we have a little opening and then there is a little tab right there. So that will go right on there and then the vacuum cleaner will hang off the wall. So let's get it installed. Boom, boom. And now you can just hang it right on there, grab your power cable, plug it in, and let it charge right on the wall. All right, so I've done just a little brief vacuuming. You can see the stuff that it's picking up. It's not just picking up debris, but it's picking up loose fuzz and things like that. It's actually got some pretty big chunks of wood in there too. So it definitely picks up quite a bit of stuff. Now I just wanna show you here, now I just wanna show you here cause I've got my trash can open, how easy this is to just clear out the big stuff. So a little push of the button right here and that falls open and all that stuff falls out. Gross. And now I can just close this back up and I'm ready to go. Of course, we can take the whole canister out and clean out the filter and all that stuff. But for a quick reload and getting back onto the vacuuming job, this is pretty sweet. All right, guys, I have been using this vacuum cleaner a lot. And not just because I wanted to do a review on it, but because you have to do a lot more cleaning, I think, in general than you might expect. And having something like this actually makes it kind of fun. I kind of look forward to the times when I can grab it because whether it's picking up something off the floor, it's really convenient, or if I want to put the accessory right into the handheld vac, I can use it in my car, just keep everything spotless. So to be really honest, buying something like this, I think will actually keep your home a little cleaner because you're going to be more inclined to use it. Now, I will tell you what, this thing is awesome. In terms of convenience and power, the three modes here are impressive. It always goes to that middle mode which is really good for about 90% of the jobs that I need. But when you need that extra turbo boost, you get a really dirty job, something like that, you just press it once and it goes into high. And man, this thing sucks in a good way, not a bad way, like being fat, P-H-A-T. But the coolest thing about this thing is that it's basically a premium product, as far as I can tell, at an affordable price. So at about 169 bucks for this little bad boy, it is about half of what I have seen similar vacuums in kind of big retail stores go for. And I have tried some of the other vacuum cleaners at my buddy's houses that are four or $500, which don't seem to be as nice as this one and work as well. So is it expensive? Well, it's not the cheapest handheld vac out there. 170 bucks is not inexpensive, but it's about half or a quarter of the price of comparable vacuums. So this thing is awesome. I definitely dig it. If you want to pick up this vac for keeping your home, your floors, your couches, your stairs, your cars clean, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.